Hello everyone, welcome to My The Young and The Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Young and The Restless recap for Wednesday, January 3, 2024, had Daniel and Heather looking at one other in a way that has Danny wondering about his son's intentions. The looks Daniel Romilotti and Heather exchanged needed to be explained. Highlights from Young and the Restless In this episode, Victoria also paid a visit to Claire in the hopes of making a relationship. Phyllis offered some counsel for Summer when Phyllis and Christine revived their friendly feud. Christine took the initiative that could assist her relationship with Danny Progress. Summer and Sharon were tense after a chance meeting at Crimson Lights. Let us now delve deeper into the episode. Brunch options include pancakes and waffling. It's New Year's Day, and Lucy was immediately sad that her mother left after she went to bed last night. She apparently had great hopes that having breakfast with her mother and father would be like old times. After all, she had discovered Heather and Daniel sleeping on the couch. She even showed her father the evidence on her phone. In addition to remembering his kiss with Heather on New Year's Eve, Daniel decided to create a sit-down breakfast with his own brand of pancakes. Lucy, of course, took advantage of the situation by texting her mother and asking her to the impromptu party. And just for kicks, she pretended that she was invited to the brunch by Daniel. Danny later inquired as to the significance of Heather and Daniel's expressions during brunch. He told his son to, 1. Keep an eye on Lucy's matchmaking, 2. Keep an eye on where he's looking, and 3. Let people know where they stand so there is no confusion. Danny wasn't buying Daniel's assertions that he and Heather had nothing going on. Refusing to give up Victoria appeared at Claire's side once more. Her long-lost daughter, however, was fast asleep. But the sleep seemed to be a means for her to shut herself off from the outside world. Victoria desired more than everything to be able to contact Claire and connect with her. She sought to communicate that Claire was no longer alone. She now had a family, one that was eager to welcome her into their fold. She had a lot of work to do, but she was prepared. She even brought her a couple of books, though she wasn't sure if Claire would appreciate them. Having said that, she couldn't wait to learn about Claire's goals and needs. Claire sat up abruptly and stared at Victoria, who wished her daughter a happy new year. Rivalry that isn't so friendly. Phyllis and Christine maintained their friendly competition. They couldn't stop bickering, deflecting, and exchanging comments loaded with rudeness and attitude. Summer entered at one point and attempted to mediate the situation. Christine dashed straight to Daniel's apartment before the two had to be forcibly separated. She practically established her territory by inviting Danny on a date, a weekend getaway. Danny agreed. Phyllis also admitted to Summer that she and Danny kissed. Not only is she a better alternative than Christine, but she will compete with any woman to be with Danny. She followed Danny's speech with some meaningful words on life after heartbreak. Phyllis became tearful as she described how the fairy tale had turned into a nightmare and how she fears no one will ever make her feel safe or welcomed again. Summer believed what Phyllis said, thinking she was talking about herself. But, instead, she surprised her daughter by claiming that she had been talking about Summer and Chance the entire time. Summer became enraged instantly, but Phyllis claimed that the old Summer would never let Chance off the hook without telling him how she felt. Awkward, three-person party. Sharon walked in after Phyllis left stage right and promptly informed Summer that she overheard her and her mother discussing Chance. Summer went into damage control mode, saying she understood what they were talking about was wrong. Phyllis thought she didn't grasp it, but she did. Sharon made it apparent that she knows Summer is interested in Chance. Summer responded by asking Sharon a deeply intimate question. She was curious as to whether Sharon actually loved Chance. Sharon explained everything to Summer and told her where she is in her life right now. She enjoyed spending time with Chance, but their relationship is casual. She's in the process of rediscovering who she is. In truth, her future is bright. 
And this low-key, low-pressure situation she was in with Chance was something she could handle. That's when Chance strolled into Crimson Lights, the making things and the even restless more airs on CBS during the week. Check out all the newest E and R spoilers for additional information on what's coming up in Geno City. And subscribe to my channel for an in-depth look at the show's history. According to the Young and the Restless spoilers for Thursday, January 4, 2024, Victoria is devoted to connecting with Claire, even as her daughter struggles to trust the mother she thought abandoned her. Will Claire meet her Eli and our parents in the middle? Highlights from the Young and the Restless Victoria is so dedicated to reaching and bonding with Claire that she quit her job at Newman Enterprises. Victoria is such a loser, according to her father that she wouldn't have had without him. Victoria prioritizes Claire in order to be a better mom than the man who reared her. Will the befuddled, enraged, and mentally devastated girl accept Victoria's and Cole's attempts, or did Jordan do too excellent a job brainwashing her to despise the Newmans? One step at a time. Meanwhile, Nikki is experiencing the consequences of Jordan's vengeance. She returned to work, went to an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting, and is determined not to fall off the wagon. However, this is easier said than done. The temptation is always present, and now there is trauma to add to the mix. Add to it the stress of Claire's discovery, not to mention Adam's prolonged existence, and Nikki still has a long, difficult path ahead of her. Is there anything more I should know? Sharon is not a moron. Summer clearly has feelings for Chance. That doesn't bother her. What she is concerned about is that Chance has feelings for Summer. She may pose the question, but will she be pleased with the response her partner provides? Vi and R spoilers for Thursday, January 4, 2024, episode 12,778 are now available. View your favorite Geno City residents as they create drama. This is not going to be an episode you want to miss. On Me and R, you may see your favorite Geno City citizens causing havoc. Spoilers for Uli and R. Things don't appear to be going well between Claire and Victoria in Claire's room. Victoria wants her daughter to know that she now has the support of her entire family. But Claire may not be ready to hear or accept this. The younger woman has a lifetime of rehabilitation ahead of her and it will be a difficult journey. In terms of recovery, it appears that Nikki is striving hard to return to normalcy. She arrives at Newman Media, and Audra is there to assist her in getting back to work. Nikki also runs across Nate in Society's pub. Will she say something kind about the man who attempted to help her? At Crimson Lights, Chance, Sharon, and Summer had an uneasy encounter. She knows Summer has feelings for Chance, and after Summer leaves, Sharon and Chance appear to have a serious chat. Will he reveal his true feelings for Summer? Summer, on the other hand, goes straight to her brother Daniel. When it comes to love, they're both caught in an unpleasant predicament. Will he offer his sister guidance, or will the siblings lament about how difficult heart affairs can be? Maybe they'll bring up Phyllis? So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.